Hello guys, welcome to the second video of the um, the Kinger mod uh, preview. Uh, today, um, or in this video, uh, we're going to do maps. And uh, today's map is Holmkang. And I was told by the developers of the Kinger uh, that this was actually a, a dual map. Um, and uh, I guess this would be the dueling... Uh, during area. Now, what I do know about Norsemen uh, is that they used to fight uh, duels and fights with three shields aside. I don't know, I might be wrong, I might be right, waiting on the developers or anybody who's interested to correct me. So, pretty much, it's just this mount over here, just like an island uh, in this kind of like bay area. You can see there's a nice little touch of uh, there's a longboat over there. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the first map we have. And, um, uh, the second map is um, the Stamford Bridge, and um, this is, I think, probably my my favorite map. Basically, um, you have a huge, well, not a huge. It's basically a river that's cutting across the map. The map itself isn't too big, uh, um, but you have a river that each spawn is located. One spawn is located there, the center of the camera. The other spawn is located there. Basically, you have to run and hold the bridge, and then you get people, archers hiding behind the trees. And uh, the reason I really like this map is because of light effects. Um, like when you're walking up from any of the spawn, uh, the light effects on the grass and the shadows is uh, really pretty. Um, pretty good stuff. Uh, let's move on to the third map. The third map is the Battle of Hastings. And I'm guessing this would be for uh, things like uh, community events or uh, for large uh, open field battles. And uh, it's pretty much a plane, um, some trees, and uh, also um, polished landscapes combined with the lightning uh, particles it makes makes for uh, some epic moments on this map. Um, mm. I'd say this is the plainest map they've made, but also sometimes plain is good. And one thing I've noticed about their maps is sometimes there are little perks, like little surprises they wouldn't expect. Uh, like for me, uh, in one of the maps that I'll showcase, uh, you'll see a little surprise that uh, caught me off guard, actually. Uh, so moving on to the fourth map, Thorskog. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, I'll probably add a comment indentation or an annotation to the video. Uh, when I do get uh, the information on this. It looks like a snow village, pretty much. Uh, there's, um... This is one of the bigger maps as well. Uh, one of the spawns is, uh... I think over here, and the other spawn is on the other side of that far house. And then you've got, like, uh... Like a village up here, and a nice cliff area. Um... Nice snowy map. I mean... I guess this would be a shrine, if I'm not mistaken. Some nice model work and some nice texture work. Again, props to the developers for some uh, nice stuff. And uh, also, look how dense the fog is. You know, it's for me, it's just the right density. I mean, you could see people running in it, but uh, I, I'd explain why I think it's the perfect uh, density. Uh, you can see in the distance that trees are fading away, uh, sorry, like popping into the screen uh, slowly, and more becomes exposed to you as you walk forward. Whereas, if I remember correctly, with um, native uh, fog would either be too dense or too light, but this is great. Um, so, we're gonna move on to the upland map. And uh, if I remember correctly, yeah. Uh, this is pretty much an upland. You have one spawn starting in a low zone and the other one having to go up. And again, uh, just some beautiful scene work here. I mean, it, it's not it's not overly complex. Um, they've added these nice little touches, you know, like things like this log, uh, things like, uh, you know, floating uh, like touches like this make it make it that much more enjoyable. It in increases the ambience, and especially with their uh, forest soundtracks. And again, I, I can't stress how well I think the lighting's been done here. Um, pretty simple map. Um, pretty straightforward. 
pretty fun as well. Like, look at this. Look at this uh, scene here. It's, it's just beautiful. Uh, so we'll just keep on moving on. Uh, we have the Dniper. I don't know how that is pronounced. Enough, and uh, this could be the lake. I'm not, I'm not particularly sure. Oh, yeah, okay. This is the foggiest map of them all. And it is basically in a snowstorm. And you can see that I, I can't even... I can't even see anything with spectate. Like, look at this density. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think I've ever even played this map before, let alone uh, give a review on uh, what I think of it. Um, I guess I'll leave this one for you guys to uh, to explore. Let, let, let's just try walk around here. It seems to be empty for so far. There was a fire there that I saw. Yeah, there's a campfire here. And then there's a longboat. I'm guessing one side will spawn on here. And uh, I think I think these are uh, I think these are actually ice models that the team made uh, just for uh, the moment, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one thing about the water is that if you fall in the water at a certain depth, you will drown. Uh, if your head is submerged, I think you will have a four-second marker to get out of there. <laughs> or else um, you will drown. So I always thought it was kind of annoying to have to uh, um, to be able to walk underwater like you know infinitely without any sort of uh, uh, penalty. Uh, but yeah, this map is speak spooking me out right now, so we're just going to run away to the next one, <laughs> which is Vasterlet. Uh, let's see what this one's about. So yeah, the mod is released, I think, uh, about a week ago or something like that, so I, I'm not particularly familiar with all the maps. So we've got a lake, uh, it seems to be a fishing lake, a little village, and if we keep zooming out, this is a quite large map. We've got another village on the other side of the map. We've got a mill, some ruins. Uh, I guess this main road would be where the, the troops could meet. The, the cool thing is that you can, you know, flank around the woods, and there are many hills, and... Uh, um, since you can couch in the game, you can if you pick uh, right colors, you, you can actually couch, hide between the greenery, and people would actually walk by you and not see you. Like uh, on one map that uh, we will hopefully go through now, um, like five people walked past me and didn't even see me. I think it might have been this one. I'm not sure about the names. Um, so let's preview. Okay. Okay, I've spawned underwater. Oh, alright, alright, alright. I think this is a longboat map, yep. Um, yeah, you basically fight on the... Yeah, you fight on top of the... It's like a battlefield on boats, and if you jump in, you're dead. Uh, that's deep enough to kill you. Uh, again, interesting things, uh, interesting additions, and that's pretty. Pretty! Uh, next one would be Hutwaite. I'm probably butchering the, the pronunciations. <laughs> Anybody watching this who actually knows what they're talking about would be like face bombing right about now. Oh, this is another small map. You got a little river in between. It's pretty much straightforward. Um, direct confrontation. Uh, nothing too fancy here. Uh, the next one is Fire Nebo.